Shocking cantor announcement by the Princess of Wales caught the whole world by surprise, including loyal teams and royal correspondents who have been closely following her story since early January. Besides Prince William's unwavering support, she will no doubt be counting on a close circle of family, friends, and royal aides to support her as she continues her treatment. For the family, this is a fresh blow in a year that has so far dealt them plenty. A source close to the princess had shared Kensington Palace staff were in tears after learning of her shock cancer diagnosis. The source added that members of the royal household had been deeply affected by the news. When putting the final touches to the magazine, royal journalists and experts got a very surprising message to say that there was going to be an update on the Princess of Wales around 15.30 p.m. that afternoon. It was one of those stand-by-your-desks moment, and people were very, very sad. Loyal teams described the shared emotion as a national sense of very deep sympathy and shock, and emphasizes that is not what we were expecting. BBC Studios Events, who was in charge of the production of Catherine's video and how the late Queen also relied on the same unit to get her most poignant message across to the nation during lockdown. They praised the professionalism of the princess's video for being direct, incredibly poised, and done all in one take. The princess's supporters will seek to guard her from such abuse and to protect the Wales children while their mother copes with her cancer scare. Still, in the months that Catherine spent out of the public eye recovering and starting her treatment, many have expressed curiosity about who is advising her and William. Interest doubled when the royal household posted a listing for a communications assistant on Thursday, a role with a starting salary of £26,000. Whoever gets the job will join a team dedicated to guiding the whales through Catherine's diagnosis. Natalie Barrows, one of Catherine's most trusted aides, has been called her right-hand woman and has been pictured assisting the Princess of Wales at several public events in the past, including as recently as last year. On royal walkabouts, Miss Barrows is often seen a few meters from the princess, stepping in to carry the flowers, cards, and tokens the princess might be handed by well-wishers. Her assistant private secretary is believed to have stepped up with William's private secretary to help ensure the couple's charity work continues in their absence. Adam Bourne is the senior communications secretary for the Prince and Princess of Wales. Lee Thompson has served as their communications secretary since 2022. Edwina Idols, the deputy's communications secretary for William and Catherine since 2021. Rhea Vernon serves as a communications officer for Team Wales. Like his wife, William has hired a new private secretary recently. In early February, it was just one of the first to report that the Prince of Wales had hired Ian Patrick for the job of his right-hand man. He is a seasoned diplomat, having spent eight years working for the British Foreign Office. That knowledge will likely come in handy as William's role representing the British monarchy abroad expands. News of Princess Catherine's health shock prompted messages of support from around the world, including from U.S. President Joe Biden and his French counterpart Emmanuel Macron. Celebrity well-wishers and politicians of all stripes have also called for the princess's privacy to be respected. It comes after cruel online trolls targeted the future queen with vile speculation about her health and whereabouts. With the king and queen going through their own cancer experience and the tight-knit Middleton family rallying around them, the Wales will be hugely supported, and the outpouring of messages from the public and the wider world will no doubt give them further strength. The news puts into context Prince William's determination to be at his wife's side and explains his absence from the memorial service of his godfather, former King Constantine of Greece, a move that triggered much of the speculation online. Meanwhile, her message will have struck a chord with so many families living through a cancer diagnosis. Her bravery in speaking out while also reassuring others that they are not alone have brought comfort to so many.